Good afternoon, listeners, and welcome to uh, the Madhouse episode 13. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, I'm very much Yeah, sir. so I'm also five to three, your host, and joining me this week is uh, Brennan. Uh, I'm back, uh, big down guy here. Um, yeah, big down guy. Yeah. And someone who hasn't been on the podcast in about, I don't know, you can, you, can, you can shut up about that now if you'd like. So, uh, no. Yeah. We're not going to shut up about it. It's been a while, but, uh, <laughs> I raised my hair. Zach is back. Is that a word? You, bastard. You grind. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I miss that. I that. and, uh, because we're all going to be busy, because, well, basically, I'm going to be busy for the next couple weeks, mm-hmm. most likely. May the fourth be with you, people, even though this is pre recorded beforehand. So, yeah. uh, May the fourth. So, we're not going to be talking about Captain America Civil War in this podcast, unfortunately. Even though this comes out on that day. Yeah. Uh, or, so, or, or, it sh- that should be one Rogue One comes out, but then again, I couldn't make that deadline. That was originally the time. Anyway, but still, May the fourth be with you. Let's move on. And who's going to talk to us? Okay, that so. This has been on my mind for several weeks now on the podcast of theories, uh, theories and conspiracies. Uh, I, I, there's a couple of there's a several uh, channel on YouTube called Cartoon or Channel Federator, and one of the posts is Cartoon Conspiracy. And uh, one of the episodes I've I've been over 100, uh, and some of them that are really interesting to talk about because Zach is going to want to talk about this for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, so there are many that I've just kind of found like, really, is that even does that make sense at all? I mean, I, I'm thinking no, because... So, so um, the first one, I'm going to skip one, I'm going to skip the first one and go to the second one. Um, the idea yeah, of, you know, of uh, Tarzan and Elsa and from Frozen, they're, apparently, there's a theory going around that they're, con- they're like, I heard about one a, year, a couple of years ago, man. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell have you been? You've been out of the loop. Um, uh-huh. Basically, the theory is mm-hmm. that uh, Tarzan... And Elsa and those uh, people are yeah. all brother and sister. So yeah. the theory is that um, basically the shipwreck that they were talking about earlier, that Elsa's parents, okay. uh, Anna and Elsa, how they died in that shipwreck was basically they washed up on shore, and that's where Tarzan came in. I, I think it, this would be like in Africa or something like that. that I know. I mean... I can get aware, but yeah. basically, uh, basically that's where Tarzan comes in. Yeah. But those are the parents that had Tarzan um, and stuff like that. So that, that's basically what the whole theory comes from. Uh, they support this by the people that are in the uh, in the painting in Tarzan. It looks very similar to yeah. Anna and Elsa's parents. Um, like extremely similar, except like one has a beard and that's... And the, most, I think the problem with that is that... I saw the episode of the of the of the of the conspiracy. I'm like, and they're, and they're they're saying this can't be true because they look nothing like they look nothing like Elsa and his parents. I mean that can't be true because it, how can they how can they give that to another kid? They they actually do look rather similar. And besides, we don't know we don't know how long uh, we don't we don't have any idea how long they were alive. But we how yeah. We have no idea. Um, but there was actually I saw a picture of this a few years ago. So, um, so for this theory, I can't really talk uh, <laughs> much about it. But um, the, it showed like a map of where they were going to. Um, and actually, one of the ideas that they were having was that um, Anna and Elsa's parents they were actually going from their little place wherever yeah. uh, to Rapunzel and Flynn Rider's wedding. Oh, really? The reason for this was to think that that could well, happen. Because, 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 because they popped up in, in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, uh, basically, what they're thinking is they're on their way over there. However, they neared off course, they crash landed, and they, there's actually a map of this. So, oh, really? Um, but I've also heard other people refuse the evidence of the same map, so please... You can go into it as much as you want. Just be in the comments. We really want to see what the hell is going to happen and how many people are really going to look into it. Um, but basically, yeah. there's a map that shows that where they're going. But one of the ideas was that the reason why Rapunzel and Flynn Rider were coming in the first place is to pay homage to them because that's where... Yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh my God, he's trying to cameo. Pretty much. <laughs> but that, that's one of the other things. There's, one, there's another theory that's been around for years that 
every single Di- uh, Disney movie is interconnected in some way. Yeah, exactly. Whether it's just like character cameos or something from other movies and whatnot. Um, there was yeah. one movie that had a... Um, I forget what movie it was called, um, but it had a little... Um, it had a little small cartoon, one of the things that Disney started doing. Yeah. Um, and the cartoon was like the love note or the kiss or something like that. Yeah. And the, the same note that was in there with the kiss mark shows up in the movie that I played before. Like as a little cameo. Yeah. Um, but every everyone is in some way interconnected by some little Easter egg references, and Disney loves doing those references. Uh, another thing that, that um, this comes kind of with, with uh, the first one on the list of things that I have here um, is that there's a theory, there's an episode of a theory show that I saw where there there's a theory that, that like the ship that appears in Little Mermaid, um, mm-hmm. but it's like so broken down. Apparently, there's a theory that that can be the same ship as the one Elton and Anna's um, father were in Mother Ron, and that somehow like they would have a sea crash and deep in the sea. Like mm-hmm. what? What if Arrow could have found that, and and that could have actually? Because you never, they didn't, the, the movie didn't, and then the rumor didn't tell you mm-hmm. who, where the ship could have come from. So it's the idea of like, could that have been a reference to the ship in, in Frozen? Yeah, that was. I heard that one too. Yeah, then yeah, two years ago. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, that's the basic theory. Um, pretty quick though, we were supposed to talk about conspiracy theories. Yeah, that was that, that, um, Tell us about what. what any any uh. You, you, want, you haven't gotten the time to talk a lot. Because hmm. we can keep going on and on. We like this <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, so, one that I really liked when I thought it was a conspiracy theory that if you two have seen this show, Samurai Jack. Yeah. yeah. And Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. I, I, thought, I thought my voice here. Yeah. Um, are pr- pretty much take place in the same. I mean, I guess it setting. kind of makes sense, but I'm still like a little baffled. Like, how could that? They have. Uh, let me tell you, they have like the same setting, same like, and they talk about that uh, the fucking Utonians yeah. pretty much in the apocalyptic sense became Samurai Jack. Yeah. But, Okay, really quick. <laughs> well, I heard the same thing again. I, I'm going to keep going and talking because, like I said, I love the sound of my voice. Um, <laughs> but one of the other things I heard to the credit and disadvantage was, well, have you seen the show, both of these? Oh, yeah. I've seen a little bit of uh-huh. Girls. I own I both. I have all but the last season of Samurai Jack, and I have the entire Powerpuff Girls series. Wow. On DVD. The old one? Yeah, that's all. I just got it back from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love both of those shows. Both of, shows, both of those shows contribute to my childhood so much. <laughs> exactly. Um, but one of, the, one of the reasons why this whole series came up in the first place is because in one of the episodes, one, actually, no, I think it was the first or second episode after Samurai Jack was first mm-hmm. introduced to... Are we talking about the first or second episode of Powerful Girls or Samurai Jack? Samurai Jack. Okay. Uh, I think I think I know you're one here. When Jack was uh, first introduced to this whole society and to do all that, mm-hmm. he helped out dogs. What? Like, <laughs> like these, uh, um, like evil dogs that are of a higher intelligence just like humans. And these yeah. are professors going on all of that. Uh-huh. It's, a, it's a show, but it's awesome. Um, <laughs> and yeah. they go and um, they are trying to find someone to protect them from Aku because Aku yeah. has been uh-huh. forcing them to like uh, mine for these diamonds and stuff like that. Yeah. And one of the things that they show as evidence of uh, a society that they used to walk in all fours instead, yeah. so this is like thousands of years and yeah. Yeah. Of these dogs, they they're, ar- they're archaeologists of their species and going on like that. Mm-hmm. But then you show a beaten down billboard that was uh, that was in uh, yeah. Like the exact same one. I found that. I found that video, yeah. Yeah, they, they yeah. have like a chunk of it all broken off. Yeah, and yeah. All faded and stuff, but it's the same billboard. Mm-hmm. It's the exa- very much the same exact Wait, billboard. What a coincidence. <laughs> mm-hmm. but, um, or not. <laughs> but if you're going to be talking about Jack being a professor plutonium, Okay, I, I'm just going to say that <laughs> the only reason why I think that that couldn't possibly happen 
It's just they're in like some alternate reality between the two. Yeah. Because otherwise, I think that is a load of bullshit. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you, Clark, but I'm just going to say. Hey, I was just reciting what I thought. Yeah. No, please do. Please do. Because like I said, yeah. I love the sound of my voice. Um, but yeah, that's one of my favorite ones. Well, it's like, can you can't even explain the theory then? Okay, so the thing about the theory is, is that, so basically, what they said is that um, basically Samurai Jack's whole sort of um, thing bam, bam. happened, like a part of it happened right in the city of Houndsville in like an yeah. apocalyptic sense. Of course, yeah. Yeah. I think it was, I think no, it had, didn't it have, didn't it have, uh, something to do with, like, chemicals, like, you can do with anything, like, chemical X, that's all you're doing. Yeah, yeah, it's like, the power of girls. And something how maybe transported him back in time or something? Um, it, maybe, I didn't hear anything about this, so you're, you're going to have to be a lot more yeah. clear, so. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> seen this in a while, but it just, like, stuck out to me so, so much. Yeah, yeah. please. Um, please. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to think, okay. Please, <laughs> human. Or whatever you call yourself, I don't know half the time. <laughs> I don't know half the time. <laughs> Could be a dog probably, though. <laughs> Archaeologist! <laughs> anyway. Okay. Well, you are kind of using them by beetle. <laughs> a bulldog! <laughs> no. Ooh, it's tight. Nice. <laughs> you know that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, if, if, you look, if you look at the zone we're talking about, I look at the weird noise in the background. Uh, <laughs> we have some weapons out, and they're kind of like, they're, they're, don't worry, so not, not, I can, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to explain with them if they can. Well, I, I just, um, that's on the tablet right now. No, uh, I mean, I'm <laughs> trying to think, well, we are incredibly in, we are in insane, so. Yeah, basically, I'm not going to kill these people, don't worry, and it's not a real gun that you heard in the background. This is just, uh, that's just an unloaded airsoft yeah. gun with the so, TVs. Don't worry, guys. We're, we're trying to work. Don't worry. We're not going to kill them. We're we trying to be not quite stupid. Be careful of that word around me. What? Stupid? No. Kill? No. What? Airsoft? No. What? <laughs> Forget it. We're <laughs> not stupid. We're insane. That's what oh, that word. Yeah. No, not that one. What word? <laughs> Think about it. Uh, what about me? No, I will kill you though if you say that. Yeah. Oh, you can't be mine, can't be mine. Keep okay. talking. <laughs> no, you can't be in my first one. Alright, anyway, we're doing it. Anyway, yeah, excited. Well, basically, uh, my memory isn't too, like, in depth with it since the last time I saw it, but, um, it's just like, Really made quite a bit of sense to me because yeah. you know they had the whole scenery, they had they had like every like pretty much. Oh uh, my god! You ate all the fucking shit. There wasn't that much in there. Oh, you bastard! <laughs> I like those things. You motherfucker! Well, at least I ate out. <laughs> Do you sponsor? What? Do you sponsor? Uh, what? <laughs> Do you sponsor? Okay. Uh, sponsor <laughs> what? I wanted the food. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, basically, like, um, all the scenery, yeah. all the sort of, like, places, like, to show that it was pretty much a scene, scene at mm-hmm. the house up there. Yeah. And Townsville. Yep, city of Townsville. Mm-hmm. Maybe you remember the episode where the Power of Girls go to the town of Cityville and you know what I'm talking about? Maybe the idea is that Power of Girls in the future, so that could possibly maybe like yeah. maybe an older, older time. Well, hmm. I see that takes place in the same universe, but the whole the whole thing with Professor Plutonium, I mean, there's no evidence that I have seen. I'm not yeah. Maybe, but I mean, that's hard to say. Maybe Anakin has a. No. Um, <laughs> that was... Maybe that was... Just kill his father if one of that. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah, that, that sounds like one of those kinds. Of May the fourth be to you, as always. Yeah, pretty much. I love you. I know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, that. There we go. <laughs> I got a bug. Oh, I'm coming here. Anyway, next. Oh, next? Oh, next. Oh, next. Actually, uh... 
So um, I'm going to go through this Born again real quick. So this is in... Uh, <laughs> right, everyone. This, <laughs> this theory has been on the Internet forever. It's like people are, are, are knowing it. The Ash and the Coma syndrome in Pokemon. What? Ash and the Coma. Because, like, oh, so that, the one. Second, oh, that one is a classic. First episode of Pokemon, it's like, he's he, Ho-Ho, never existed, bringing eternal happiness. And next thing you know, eternal happiness with these angel sky. Okay, I, I'm going to admit something. Um, Pokemon, I I liked the show when I was, like, younger. Yeah. I love the Pokemon now. Before. <laughs> I haven't watched it in years. Um, yeah. Like, I mean, the new shows I watch, and it's like, what the fuck is this? I mean, uh, I will say, though, the original Pokemon movie, I'm going to watch again. I, I love that one. Yeah. I miss it. I miss it. I miss it. It's so it it shows Mewtwo murdering everyone. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly. It's, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, anyway, so, what? explain the theory some more. Explain it. Um, so, like, so, basically... The idea is that, like, as soon as Ash was, like, saying that Pikachu, he fell in a coma after seeing Holo, and every time he, uh, comes to the league, you know, he had yeah, to bring the Pikachu to every new region, and it's all of this thing like that. Like, in the theory, it's like, what if all of this, I mean, travels he's with all his friends he made because of, of what happened that, on the first day, like, when he got hit by, the, the, by Pikachu, what if, that's because he's in a coma, actually, and he's still waking up, like, he's still sleeping. Okay, where's the evidence? Um, I don't really know the evidence. That just really doesn't really point anywhere because no, no one really knows. But like, it's just a theory that that what if what if a what if theory like what if Ash could be in a coma because of what of what happened to well, the kid? One thing I learned from watching this mm-hmm. is that the drama started when Ash got shot by Pikachu. Exactly. Okay. That's the point I'm bringing up. Okay. How? What? What is on the evidence besides the fact that you got that? Because he because he was like he was a bike and going in and then he had a zero attack me and he's like and then he's like Pikachu saved me whatever and Pikachu saves him well, tapping him and then he felt he just falls and you know, like you know sleeps and then suddenly who knows he could some evidence up. some evidence I've heard is that you know Officer Joy a uh, little well, Officer Joy Officer Joy <laughs> <laughs> Just both of you. Just both of you. Oh, my God. Shut up. 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 Oh, shut up, you know. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. You know, I know it won't work. Just shut up. <laughs> okay, then speak. I, you might really need to say that. I am. I shut, shut up. up. I'm going to go. Now you know. Okay. Continue. Okay, so, obviously, <laughs> another big thing to use, and you know, having a lot of cartoons, is that ash is never really ages. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I, the, the, for example, the first day, 10, year old, 10 years old, then for, fast forward to black and white, first episode, and this young man, 10 year old life comes like, really? We, so he hasn't aged a day. He looks older though. Come on. And his voice just gets quiet. Exactly. It's like, whoa, suddenly this is the new voice actor. No, he's supposed to get older. And he's like, it's like he's always going to be 10 years old. That's the thing. It's like, because of what happened on the first day, he will always remain ten years old. Even though there's like a even though there's a in Digital League where he says, I can't believe it's been a whole year since we've been here, that makes him eleven. Yeah. So, you know, if he's still ten, it's like Nick, your mind's got things for you. Come on. I have fear for this. One, he's maybe a time lord. Yeah. Have you seen the technology for Pokemon? I mean, seriously. But I guess that means that he and, uh, Mr. Fizzle? Yeah! That's another theory I want to talk about. Ah, oh, okay. What the fuck is that? There's two of us coming to it! Uh, it's home. It has to be the time board. You mentioned the time board, and I will not have to speak. This is not a time board. Okay, so let's just do it. 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 Let's just who died? Don't ask me to It's the magic killer. It's the magic killer. 
Oh my god, what small should be having? Ooh. Anyway, I'm in this event now. Uh huh, and you're welcome back now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, deal with it. Don't worry, I love you too. Uh, at the end of this, this is what we call an Infinity Salon podcast. <laughs> at the end of this podcast, you only hear one voice. Tom, you're gonna. So, Tom, you're gonna go outside, right? Okay, time, time, time. I'm coming here for a theme song maker. You are I'm making the same podcast. However, I'm so going to believe. I'm just going to believe it, man. Um, but yeah. Anyway, my thoughts on it, I think that's possible, and I do think that it's fucked up that they don't need And the fact that he's in a coma can can kind of make it make sense for why he's so dumb. And like, but, 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 but I mean, like, no, he's not it. He's not it. He can't recognize them, even by the simplest outfit. Like, God. It's a kid's show. I know, right? <laughs> Um, well, what that being said, though, I think that, okay, this is going to go outside of the whole, um, like, conspiracy theory thing that we're talking yeah. about right now. Yeah, um, I think that if they uh, age the character appropriately, mm-hmm. they would have a quite a much better show with this, because we would also have emotional maturity growing up with the audience, and, yeah, uh, I think that would be, uh, it would have done really well, but, uh, one of the things that they do, because they want to keep this juvenile. Yeah. Uh, basically, how they do it, they 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 have to increase the different characters in it. They have to change up the cast. They yeah. they have to do this and that. Um, but they also want to bring the new audiences so that the parents are like, this is this is what we watch. Watch it and keep it going. However, one thing that works against them is the fact that they are keep doing that and they keep the character the same age. I mean, they're trying to get the yeah. audience. With new characters and just more outlandish Pokemon. I mean, Pokemon. Pokemon. And I keep going. Dog, shut up. I can go on. I can go on. Dog, shut up. I can go on. Good luck. Um, <laughs> basically, it's just one of those. Um, and yeah, there, uh, some of the most personal you ever touched it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Touch the blanket. Oh, he already knows what happens when he touches the blanket. Yeah. I know. I want to watch him put on America's Funny Some videos. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be on America's Funny Some videos because he's on the visual. What? It will not be on AMV if we don't have the visual. I got a camera. And turn it on, motherfucker, if you really want to put this on. Uh, later, because I don't want to have the voice of uh, Vince Squeal, and then I have to up my voice. Headphone users warning. Pretty much. Um, so yeah. Anyway, next series. Um, so yeah, another series that um, I another episode of, of Cartoon Conspiracy that I saw them actually it was kind of interesting actually. Um, was the yeah, whole, was um, <laughs> could Timmy could uh, so there's two characters in um, I think it's a Nick show called uh, so there's Timmy there's uh, there's Where is the Nick show and called? There's Daddy Fa- and there's Danny Phantom. Oh. Oh. Timmy Turner and Danny Phantom be the same character like he be a grown up version or or a grown up version of Timmy. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. So <laughs> I've heard this two before and I'm not sure. my first opinion on that because I'm not so sure about that. I, I'm yeah. just gonna put it out there. I fucking love those two shows. Yeah. I mean, Same here. I mean, this an episode or two of Death Animal and, and a little bit oh, of. Oh, Danny Phantom was fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, that, that was basically my G.I. Joe one. Childhood. I mean, uh-huh. for, for only the theory, the theory. So the theory is that, um, I mean, why it's so similar is because uh, that, like, Danny Phantom's friends look like older versions of Timmy Turner's friends. Gang, gang. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, there's actually a cameo of uh, Danny Phantom in, like, a monitor in the end of the Jimmy Turner, which could, you know, pop in, make sense. Because, like, I mean, look at that hairstyle. Because their eyes, just them. Like, look at Danny Phantom and look at Jimmy Turner. They look similar. <gasps> um, I have a conspiracy theory. I want to say something here about yeah. what you said about, like, his friends being the same. Old. Yeah. So, like, okay, I can maybe understand how they're an AJ. But, like, from what I remember, Danny's other friend is Sam, not, like, like, Chester. Yeah. Yeah? Which one? 
Wait, so Tom was talking about like how uh, yeah. Danny friends with like older versions of AJ and Chester. Yeah, like the, 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 the basically Danny fans uh, friends <laughs> look like look like look like older versions of Tim Turner friends. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean. I can maybe understand Ch- like Tucker and AJ, but what about Sam and Chester? They're completely different. Sam and Chester... You know, like, they Ross like, in... Yeah. yeah. Not and then who is Chester? Chester? Chester is the one that lives in the trailer. It, it's been too long to listen. Chester and Chester. What, what could have happened is they could have got older and changed their names. I, I have an idea. Um... Yeah. What if the reason why Danny, Sam, and parents are so to ghost is the fact that that's really going to be turning? Yeah. I mean, if you're going to go on like that, then their parents are all like that. If you're if you're going to go on along the same basis as what you're saying, because um, I mean, I can see that. However, I personally I think that if it was to take place in the same universe, it would make a lot more sense that they were just parents and like I don't know, Tim Turner or something, you know, change his names to a Phantom or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, that would make a lot more sense if you're to go along like that. However, I can kind of see it, but at the same time, his parents. Do you really think that Dinkleberg would, or the, uh, what the hell were the name of some of his parents again? Is that odd? Uh, but do you really they don't, they don't have names. Do you really think that, uh, Timmy's mom and dad would be that incompetent? I mean, I don't know. Uh, it was kind of, kind of dumb, I guess. I mean, all, all of them are, and I, I do think the similarities are more than I think of it. However, it, it, at the same time, it doesn't even make sense. But the thing comes up, damn you! He's got me out of paradise, exactly. <laughs> Alright, um, so what do you guys think? Yes or no, true or false? Um, I don't, I don't know. It's very cool it, it, It's a little, um, it doesn't really, I don't know why. It doesn't really. So, um, I'm not sure. I have a One thing that really sticks out to me is the buck teeth. Like, yeah. um, uh, Remember, I, I remember in the Fairly Odd Pants episode, like with the tooth fairy, and how Timmy was trying to get rid of his buck because of his um, big buck tooth. So, uh, uh, so we got the permanent ones, and then they were even, they said they were even bigger buck teeth huh. than the other ones. So, if, like, that happened, then he should have the same buck teeth. Or he could have gotten his teeth better, like, thick, like, thick. I doubt he could have. Um,. Maybe, maybe not. I, I just see the basis for this. However, I don't think that it would be practical. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, so I think really we add up a lot. It doesn't really make sense. I just think that would go I either way. I think that, I don't know. I, I don't know. What happened to Mr. Crocker then? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, <laughs> he, he got so, he, he was getting so, he didn't want to do something. Do you remember yeah. the ghost hunter? Hmm? Remember the ghost hunter? No. Oh, uh, I don't know the, oh, yeah. no, the ghost bounty hunter, remember? Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that could be, like, the closest thing to Crocker. Yeah. Like, Crocker hunts fairies, and this guy has ghosts, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, that could be the closest thing. I mean, he didn't get your asses on it. He might have, uh, gotten so insane. He might have driven so insane with the fairies that he... I don't know. He killed himself and became a ghost. Maybe, yeah. Like, that, that couldn't be an idea. Like, no. Like that. He killed himself became a bad guy. <laughs> Maybe. Dude, it was a suicide. No, don't, 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 don't. No, 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 like, on what scale, though? Okay, so, so like, one to five. How about we say, like, all right, how about we say in, impossible, probable, or definite? Okay. You first. Damn mm. <laughs> <Yeah>, you! <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! Come back to me! Come back to me! Yeah. I'll go. Okay. I think in me. Don't think! No, fuck you. No, I'm safe, but I've better offers. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, I think it's probable in some senses, yeah. but impossible in other senses. Like what you brought up with the friends is sort of like a half and half thing, or maybe like a forty percent possible, sixty percent impossible. Because like I said, I can kind of see the way with Adrian Tucker, although. Um, um, I'm not sure if AJ just became dumber. Yeah. 
Well, that's entirely possible. I mean, they could have just waited. Maybe. Um, all right, how about you? Uh, I think it's probable because they, I mean, I think I mean, I think they're they're made by the same uh, same people. Um, but I just don't see it happening. I mean, yeah, like one little cameo from Danny Fan does not necessarily mean they're connected at all. I mean, it, that, that, it could just be the whole alternate reality. Or a coincidence, you know? Well, I, I don't think it's coincidence. I mean, they're both made by the same company. If there's going to be a coincidence, then that, that's impossible. I mean, they could have just done a cameo just because, fuck it, why not? Yeah. We're Nickelodeon. Um, but an idea now that it could be the same characters, however, in an alternate reality. I mean, they, they yeah. did the same thing with Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, they exactly. had the Jimmy Neutron and Tim Neutron. Yeah. 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 And or they could just be in the same universe. Well, yeah. I, I think that if, if we're going to be going with the whole connected theory that we were having, most likely it would be an alternate reality, just yeah. like they did with Jimmy Neutron. I still, the, I mean, the thing that's really, really holding me back from thinking that it's possible is Sam and Chester. Well, like I said, they, they could just be the same characters. I mean, they have the same friend group. I don't know. I just... That's what's keeping me from saying that. I mean, Jimmy Neutron, he had been with friends, too. I mean, yeah. But there's one big... Uh, one big fat kid. No, yeah, and Carl and... Yeah, Carl and Sh- Sean. Sh- Sheen? Sheen, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one that was like an ultra lord! And one of the <laughs> I love that. I love that. Where, where Sheen actually met Ultra Lord, and he's like, oh, Ultra so Lord, like, did, did this kid with anybody? Uh huh. Yeah. I, I, was awesome. I, I wanted to see that shit. <laughs> that was a good movie. I was a little, I was like, frightened of that movie. Stop search!
you see how the turban and all that that comes out? Yeah. Big ass nose. I mean, you can relate. Like a little like. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have them on my eyes next? Uh, this is supposed to be Arabian, not uh, the other group. <laughs> I can't tell if you're squinting or just... Yeah, don't worry about some more, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, if you want me to. Um, oh, there's, there's the eyes, there's the eyes. Yeah. Don't, don't worry, everybody. Anyway, are we going to be talking or what? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Zach, go ahead. Zach? I will make it start your blanket. You're telling me to make it into a dash motherfucker. I know! So I can run. Anyway, uh, what, what's her name? Um. Her name, I know. Oh my god. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, have a little. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Tom, you're already as well. I was trying to get uh, Well, I think it actually is plausible to me. It, it kind of makes sense because they, cause they look similar and, like, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, the genie's blue and uh, that doesn't make sense. So, like, the Templar has a little, little like, thing around his, his uh, waist. You know, it, it, this kind of makes sense. It kind of relates to his, his looks and, you know, filling a lamp and that's where the genie came from. So... It does add up. It does make sense. I, I really think that it could be possible. I really do. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> that. Oh. Oh, yeah. I've heard of that. It's just that game picture, uh, a video of the Hitler. I've heard of that. That's the guy. All right. Speak. Oh, okay. So, uh, it may be possible because... Yeah, I've heard a lot of things, and you know, it just clicks in my mind that maybe it could work because, like you said, he does know kind of about the story, mm-hmm. and he was freed from it after yeah. all. He was freed from the lamb, no. so he could have. It could be, it could be after Jesus. He could have the sort of power to like manifest himself into like a human form. Yeah, I can. And play for the same guy. Same map. Yeah. Probably only with both of them. Um, so, with that being said, are you guys done talking or can I... Go ahead. All right. Mm-hmm. So, it was actually confirmed that that's supposed to be Ron Williams. Uh, yeah. I forget if Ron Williams actually voiced the merchant, however, I'm pretty he sure he did. He voiced both of them, yeah. Yeah. Um, he voiced both of them, and, and um, originally the whole plan was that he was supposed to. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to have an like, opening and an ending and stuff like that where you actually see him as a merchant talking. But he switches or something like that. That was during the original script, however, time they had to cut it. Um, yeah. And so that was the thing like that. But also, we know for a fact that he can manifest as a human uh, animal. I mean, just yeah. like the whole Prince Adam. Oh, yeah. That's that me. I mean, he, he turns into a human female. He turns himself into a goat. Mm-hmm. He, he does all this other but random stuff. It, 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 I think, think that, that you want to hear his readings from the land. Jack Nicholson even he does that too. Huh? He could Jack have. Jack Nicholson, he can't run his act in Jack Nicholson. I, 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 He's in the Shining. The yeah. I never saw the movie, but it's yeah. like, yeah. I think, um, like, you know, like, he was, like, blue, though, every time he did it, right? No. Yeah. No, no he no. wasn't. No, he wasn't. Um, like, no, like, he was a perfect goat. He, um... It's been a while since I've seen this show. Me too, because, but like, I need to watch it again. I should probably watch it tonight? No. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but pretty much, uh, it was, he doesn't have to be in the whole blue form. And that was after he was released. This is in the past tense when he's telling the story. So, honestly, and I'm just going to make the final judgment here. Confirmed! <laughs> I, I think that, I think it, it does make sense. I mean, it all adds up. It really I think it does make sense. It does. Because, like, they were originally going to in the frickin' scripts. I mean, yeah. I'm serious. I think um, it totally would make sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I just, that's, that's confirmed. In my opinion, yep. confirmed. Okay. Um, the next one, and Bernie was actually I'm not sure you could do this, but I think I can, I can help you out. I, I can definitely. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the SpongeBob theory about the seven deadly sins. Yeah. That his friend, uh, his SpongeBob and his friends, could they be based off of the seven deadly sins? That was the idea. Yeah. So, what do you think? I, I, can, I can definitely explain this. Let's try to solve it. Okay. 
So I've seen this one, and it makes a lot of sense yeah. from what I've seen. Okay. Agreed. So the seven main characters are Squidward, Sandy, Patrick, Spongebob, Gary, Eddie. Mr. Krabs, yeah. and Plankton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's choose one to start out with. Spongebob. Okay, Spongebob is set in the theory to be portrayed as lost. Yeah. It just sounds fucked up. Yeah, I know. But they def- define lust as the um, as giving unconditional love, like un uncon- like uncontrollably. Mm-hmm. Like, he's always he's always loving he, everybody. He has never gotten that. Of him. He he, like, he, he, he loves friends. He says uh-huh. he hates them. You know. He loves everyone too much. Yeah. Which is basically what they define as lust. I don't remember this whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that's SpongeBob explanation why he's based off of lust in the theory. I call Plankton. You want to do Plankton next? Wasn't he green? No, yeah, he is no, envy. Envy, envy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is envy. He envies Mr. Krabs. Oh, Mr. Krabs, he's green. No, that's that just that's apart. Right now, that's not part of the That was all obvious. That was his whole obvious character trait. Yeah. He yeah. talks money. He talks to money. Yeah. He's a character trait. He's a character trait. He's a character trait. Really quick. Well, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're always take showers. Yeah. They're under the sea. It's under the fucking thing. Would you bathe in my... I have a question. Oh, wait, wrong one. Oh. This is not... Okay. <laughs> uh, By the way, uh, 17 minutes until 20. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm just going to go on record and say I used to fucking love SpongeBob until one episode where all of the kitties bought them morphed into each other. Oh, and no. I shit you <laughs> not. I remember that episode. That, after I saw that show, I mean, I used to watch SpongeBob. I remember that episode. Every single fucking Saturday morning. Yeah. I, I love that show. It was one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. I still have the first four episodes on TV fucking D. Wow. I shit you not. No. Just episodes. Like the first 13. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll tell you about it later. Basically, if you want it, it's free. Yeah. Or actually, no. Do we that? Anyway, um, um, I but, remember this episode, so it's explained. But basically, what happened? I forget how, but all the characters in the King's Bottom like got morphed into each other. Like all into really? one body. It was because of the machine. Yeah. That Danny built. Yeah. Danny built this like weird fucking machine. It was basically a teleporting machine. Uh huh. And it, it, it was like a parody of Fly or something like that. Okay, <laughs> coming up. So because we don't have any time left. Basically, they all worked into one gigantic blob. Here, here's a sum up of it. Okay, Sandy builds a machine that can teleport things. Um, SpongeBob uses the machine and accidentally gets morphed in with Squidward, breaking the machine and sending them back in morphed together. Not that bad. And so they go on a, they do it a couple more times and it gets a bit more effed up. And so Squidward has a resettle um, for his coronet. Um, she gets and so Sandy then builds a machine that's supposed to get him that's supposed to get him apart. But because Squidward's thing works so well because they're morphed together that Squidward tries to reverse the effect and he breaks that machine and then everyone in the premises gets morphed together. And at the very end, and this is the one scene that so hunks into Oh yeah. And the very, they ended up They ended the entire episode with uh this blob of talking to a psychiatrist. Wow. And they showed, I mean, just the picture and everything was just a bunch of colors and faces and I I wanted to throw up. Yeah. I I, I hated that scene. And I mean, here's my thing. After that, because you know how they always like show like these weird images and like people have crust in their eyes. And oh yeah. Uh, after, after I watched the episode, I just couldn't Mm-hmm. handle those kind of scenes. I love the stories. I love the characters. Patrick is... I, I still call a friend of mine Patrick Star. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, I mean, I love the show, but after that episode, I just could not... I, I wanted to throw up every single time I saw one of the scenes. I mean, yeah. even the butterfly one, where they just showed... Like, oh, the, yeah. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Um, because, I mean, they showed a few scenes here, and they were like... And they had an immense close-up on a butterfly. And that, that was actually quite, that was actually quite, in, that was one of my favorites. That still is one of my favorites. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to put that out there. I don't watch SpongeBob anymore. I used to have a mother, but they 
it's gone downhill. Um, anyway, back to greed, envy, all that shit. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's kind of quickly add this up. I'll explain them all. Mr. Crab is greedy because you know if you watch the episode, he just he just cannot get away from money. Money, money. He has money. He has money. Yeah. He takes money. Uh, I'm playing to envy because you explain that he envies um, Mr. Mr. Crab and his business. Yeah. Squidward is hate or rage, wrath, rage. I think it's wrath <laughs> because he he hates opposite of SpongeBob and he hates everything. He ha- he hates uh, but uh, Patrick. Most like, most up, you know. Um, is gluttony. Gluttony is not lazy. No, wait. I think, actually, I think Patrick is sloth. Yeah, yeah that. So Gary so is gluttony. Yeah, Gary. He's, yeah, Gary. But he cannot stop eating. And he also, the fucker went, the fucker went missing just for a uh, freaking <laughs> um, meal. Well, no, it actually kind of makes sense because SpongeBob was a really big like. Yeah. I was pissed at SpongeBob. I mean, seriously. Anyway, um, uh, so we, got, we got, like, I think one more. Yeah, we have Sandy, which is pride. Oh, yeah. That's the country. Yeah. Texas is dumb. Texas State. <laughs> Sorry, I meant okay. State. Yeah. So, wait, what? Tom Fick? And I still, I still like that state. I actually said, I still like that country. Texas is a country. That would be weird. I would not be surprised. Okay, so, um, Sandy is... Pride. Fanny is crying because okay. her ego is through the roof. Mm-hmm. Her ego is further through the roof. Yeah. On her smarts, her strength. Yeah. Uh, if you remember from the, if you remember from the episode where Fanny and SpongeBob had those immense rounds of competition. Yeah. What's wrong with that? You remember where it's like I'm already halfway there, halfway there, halfway oh, there, yeah. and so uh, when that happens. Um, they bas- Sandy basically actually tries everything that um, they do just to, sh- just, to see, just to prove that she can do it. And so it goes so far where she actually like um, risks, she actually puts her life in danger by yeah. taking off her air suit and proving mm-hmm. that she can breathe underwater. It doesn't work so well that he has to get a, a jar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pickle jar. That was, that was funny. And so, so that, that explains Sandy and like, she is crying. Like, can you do this? All I have time I can do that. Like, so you have all to, in all, it yeah, makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next next series. Wait, hey, Brian, what are you talking about? It? I think that it's some kind of thing. Definitely, yeah. I think it's, it makes sense. It makes perfect, perfect sense. sense. Yeah, it's but <laughs> right out confirmed right here. Uh, uh, that's not the word Nick Buster said. Yeah, yeah. Confirmed Bob Fuller Buster. Let's just go yeah, fuckers! Oh, fuck yeah, I know. Yeah! I hate that they are stopping that. Yeah, they ended it. That's, that's just right. Yeah. Hey, they yeah. rock in peace. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. Here's a theory. Here's a theory. Yeah, that yeah. I, I was going to say it for, like, last thing I was going to say it anymore after this. Is the, uh, Paul Magic School ha- uh, um, uh, a school... I don't want to do the house. School bus theory. It's an actual school house. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, high five. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I got it. Cheese again, mother. It doesn't work. Okay, so <laughs> the magic school bus. Whoa, what you? About about if Mitch Frizzle could be a time lord. Okay. Is no. it possible or is it not possible? I can I can see it happening. I'm. I'm a OBN is proud motherfucker. Yes. Um, I can see that happening actually. Yeah. Um, there's actually a theory that um, Mary Poppins is. Oh yeah, I know. I think she is. And I have any but um, but yeah, I I can definitely see that most certainly. Because um, the, the bus is a, is a time machine, so yeah. And she, you know, resembles every song totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she could be a graduate from Tyler Academy and you know, she could just steal part of the Academy? What the fuck is on this kid? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay, anyway, explain explain what year no Hoovian to that. Which it pisses me the fuck off. And you need to try harder. Uh no, you just need to I can have the year. You got No it's not. I asked about what's impossible to get in the year or shit like that. Don't remind me. <laughs> you tried so many times to get me into stuff, and it never worked. I know. It's bullshit. <laughs> anyway, 
That's right on my mouth. Yeah. Anyway, keep talking. Uh, to me? Yeah. Okay, so the theory is that, um, like, she, you know, her is a magic school bus, and she takes her, these, these kids up the up adventures, and they can be the companions, and, like, you know, because she it can travel all the time of space. And I mean, there's another theory that it could be true because of the episode uh, where they travel through this uh, physical like the brain or something, and they find one Earth with the uh, the body of this physical, and they feel they still feel uh, one heart, not two, one. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it might not be true. Though. Oh, perception filter. It how uh, the doctor comes uh, here. I mean, I guess that's how it makes sense, but it also doesn't make, doesn't make sense because it's hard to they have like yeah. three houses not bigger than inside. Yeah. So at the same time, though, I mean, yeah, I think that it's more of a whole. Oh my God, I love this show. Anything must be a time or just the same thing with Mary Poppins. I mean, yeah. oh, Doctor Who or SpongeBob. Oh yeah. Um, we can't die, and it has to be on inside. Everything is bigger than inside. Oh, I mean, SpongeBob. Yeah, every everything is bigger than inside. We have things that are bigger on the inside. That's uh, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back in the fairly odd pants really quick. Oh, yeah? oh no. And talk about the little fish castle they have. Yeah, that's it on my side. Remember? Yeah, I don't remember seeing the inside of it. Um, there was an episode. Okay, so, um, Jimmy Connor got, um, like the shrink suit. Uh, yeah. Uh, from a while back to, like, do the body. Yeah. Work inside the body for his project. And so, what happened is that he gets back, he get, it, he goes into his closet and gets back the uh, shrink suit to see what's inside, um, to see what's inside the castle. And it turns out there are like hundreds and hundreds of rooms in there. Oh, yeah? When in reality it should be only like about, um, like, I mean, are they normal human size or what the, or just extremely small? The castle? No, I mean the rooms. The rooms are like ginormous, like mansion size in the fish. Only if he's gonna shrink and it's ginormous to him, is that? And then he just like regrows? Or no, he... um, you know how like the door is like half of the castle. Yeah, I think so. So basically, imagine like having that door and basically having like a hallway like a million times longer than that door. Hmm. I mean, it's the episode. Because, I mean, if he's a strength, then, I mean, if, if he's a strength, I mean, no doubt. He shrank, um, so let's say, like, you, I think the castle would be about, like, a height of maybe, like, five of him. I, I have to see the episode that I'm about to say. Yes, but on the inside, or it's just extremely small. Here. Yeah. Um, I'm tell you the relative size of the castle itself. I'm telling you, I'm telling you the relative cast, uh, castle size on the outside is basically like if he went up to it, I think it'd be about like um, five and a half tall. And so, I don't know. Um, I, I tell you this though, it's not like relative size to the castle on the inside. Maybe. I mean, I, 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 I mean, it. I mean, the, the official itself is. It's yeah, I know, like, yeah. I doubt. Yeah. I don't see it happening. Um, yeah. Maybe like, what, how much longer do you have? We got one. Probably, we should probably uh, have, a, like, uh, a couple more things. Uh, that, there's actually a story that I have to talk about. Um, we got five minutes. Is it going to be quick? Yeah. All right. All right. Shoot. So, um, I don't know what it's, I can't remember. Threatening me? No. That's my job. <laughs> I can't remember when this happened, but I know it was a while back. Um, I was I was on the bus and uh, oh, this, what is this? What? Uh, that one lady? No, 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 no. no. Oh, good. It's a different one. Uh, okay. um, I was on the bus and um, I came to this stop. It was like I don't know, like a block or something from the transit center. And you know those guys with the turbans, the weird people. What? They they should not have to dude, that. that's that's fucking racist. The people of the turbans. People of a Muslim? Um, yeah, I can't remember. Out. I can't remember what they are. Okay, either shut up or get to the fucking point. Anyway, that's just, so, that was not. That was a low that, blow. That was uncool. That was a low blow. He did his own thing, and you know, he made a clobber. Okay, uh, pretty much. Anyway, so he gets on. He pays with actual cash. 
Oh. And then he goes around, and then he, the bus goes around to the cousin, and he gets caught. Like, what the fuck is this? That's so funny. Okay. What? Basically, what happened in the story is that basically the guy paid to go on the bus, and he only went like about a block. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, uh, do these buses have those go to go passes? I don't remember. Or, uh, no, I mean, like the, the school bus. So, uh, not the school bus, but. Can you can do it? Yeah, can you just get into it? At least in Spokane. Um, they have these good go passes where you can like get this pass is good for like an hour or two, and you can select out where on whatever bus. Did you grab one of those? I didn't see. I don't remember. But I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty sure you use cash. And you don't really. Wait. It doesn't matter if you use cash or card. Yeah. I mean, uh, what did you get one of those passes though? Yes or no? I didn't see it. I didn't see. Oh. I didn't, wasn't paying attention. But I just saw a little. I, don't, I kind of looked at it. Well, yeah, it's true. It, why? Why the hell would someone just go in there for like two seconds? I mean, it's <laughs> kind of a waste of money. I mean, that that that, that can make sense if like he's having a uh, leg problems. I mean, God knows I've had plenty of leg problems. I mean, Maybe. hell, I'm going to the doctor. And I'm gonna. I went to a fucking chiropractor yesterday. Oh yeah. Um. So I mean, that that could be a possible reason why. Right, but. We used to really take care of this money. I wouldn't waste money like that. Well, other people have different African conditions. Yeah, but you need to remember that always. I mean, yeah. I've got plenty of medical shit going on. I'm going to the chiropractor. I'm going to be going there twice a week now. I have a, a doctor's appointment uh, tomorrow. Um, I have a therapist that I see. Um, and I might be going to a pain therapist. You might, want to, you might want to think about, like, also, was it worth it to the person? Yeah. Yeah. Was it worth it for them to just, like, kind of use that, just, like, go on the bus for that couple of seconds, like, mm-hmm. to get to that place? Was it worth it for them? Because if it was, then no one really has any other say in it. Because, you know, it's not yeah. like he's using any of your stuff. I mean, listen, what's the matter? Um, I, I, I don't like... Yeah, kind of unnecessary. Uh, unnecessary, however, in some people's cases, it is. Um, you yeah. really got to remember that. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> hell, my mom and I were walking around today. I got a business or a suit for Tom. Uh, that's what mom and I were doing today, and that's why we had to do this podcast so late in the day. Yeah. Um, but I mean, other people they could have medical conditions going on. They yeah. they might just like have to get someone like really quick or just get confused and like, oh, okay. You don't know what the hell this guy's going through. It's, at first, you know, you, you could think of just like gotten on and all of a sudden, oh shit, I forgot something. Or, oh my god, someone just got hurt. Or what have you. So, this is a lesson to all of you. Listen on my show. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Basically, you've got to remember that other people have to do other things for other reasons. I mean, yeah. it's. Like the guy that uh, climbed a tree in uh, Seattle a few months ago. You know that guy? I don't think so. So a few months ago, there was this, there was this guy. He was like an old, not old man. He was like 30s, 40s. Uh-huh. Climbed a tree in the middle of Seattle and started throwing pine cones at pedestrians. He actually exposed himself wow. to people walking around. Uh, one of the things that the mother like, said in the press thing was that the guy had a lot of down syndrome and stuff like that. Yeah. And he he had some stuff going on. And the reason why I was doing that is because he was he's basically a child. Wow. Uh, my brother, he my brother is basically a seven year old and an eighteen year old body. Wow. On a good day. Um I have I know people with epilepsy, I know people with diabetes. I know people with cancer. Yeah. Everything, heart problems. So oh, I probably could have heart problems. I'm at risk for it. Yeah. So you just have to remember that other people, basically, other people have their own business. Yeah. Other people have their yeah. own stuff going on. I got my stuff going on. You got your stuff going on. Whatever the hell you got with school or I with school. I use a fucking laptop or a Bible four play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Zach has his stuff going on. I just thought it really, was I, mean, I just thought it still thing. I just thought it really confusing. Yep. Yeah. Just. One thing before, especially, and this is to everyone else online, and I'm sorry that this has been so dragged out. Um, we're running out of time here, but this, so... I'm going to wrap up, too. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to get to that in just a sec. Um, basically, to everyone else out there listening to the end of this podcast, just 
think about other people and mm-hmm. think about what the hell they're going through. I mean, as far as I mean, you can't tell, but I mean, you, know, you don't know what anybody's going through. You don't know what anybody's going through, but you can guess. You can, you know, think, you oh, they, maybe they're just, 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 just yeah. Just keep, it, just keep your own business to yourself unless you're with somebody you trust. Exactly. I, I, I told Zach, we always have told each other some real messed up shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that I have. <laughs> I, do. I mean, part part of the reason why I do these podcasts, why I do my reviews. Oh. Yeah. So just know that other people are doing their own thing. If they ask for your help, then you can help if you want. If they are asking for this, depending on whatever they need to do. I mean, you don't always have to like give it back your money. Yeah. But a hot <laughs> meal will go a long way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, like if they actually like, want food. Yeah. Food. A lot of people, they do they do take advantage of it and like, they're like, hey, I need money for a bus. Can you please do this for me? And then they just take the money and go and buy cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that puts the best view on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so just be careful with what you say, especially if it's online. The oh, thing oh, about, oh, uh, yeah. um, and so really quick, Guys, and he's on his Um So for Tom's comments earlier about like saying the stuff with the guy with the turban. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I I never really know anything. Or, yeah, I just think the kind of I don't know about religion really. I hate up on it, but what? Just say something. Sorry. I'm sorry to whoever whoever I insulted. I guess I don't know. <laughs> and everyone else needs to take a lesson from this. Um, mm-hmm. Just mind your own fucking business. Totally. Um, and just go about your life, your life. Allow other people to have their views. Unless they're hurting you. If they're hurting, mm-hmm. if they're hurting you, say something. And this is for anything with religion or, or sexuality. Yeah, I should. Be, they have a fucking gay best friend. <laughs> the exact is on the cook. Good point. Yeah. I mean, and I'm a straight guy. I got a girlfriend. So I'm gonna do that. So am I. Yeah. The majority of the women that I have dated have either been bisexual or something like that. I know who I am. I know who I am as a person. I have my religion, and I am not a religious man myself. If um, I could say something, I mean, yeah. it's 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 been shown that like you know, judgment is part of human nature, but. That being said, you can just keep it to yourself. I mean, I am a victim of judging people, but I never bring it to their face or ever do anything to, uh, like, hurt them. If you were to get to know this person, I just think, I'm a, I'm a people watcher. Yeah. I'm going to watch people all the time. It's a natural thing for me. If I were, if I were there to just met Jack, I would be like, okay, what do you have? Why does he have this beard? Why is he like <laughs> this? Why the hell does he have a fucking blanket that will kill over? Why? I mean, this. I mean, uh, why, why is your occasion? Uh, <laughs> don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Uh, I, I, I do. I do. Um, or you, Tom. I mean, I could work with you like, okay, not he had not shaved in a while. He always wears the same basic clothes, and he always goes like this. We're and talk with, huh? You want to talk about you, Tony? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> you are a fucking twerp. I'm going to call you that. I can wear a hat, you know. It's it wasn't a hat. It was a fucking jacket. You wore the blue You wore the blue beanie. You wore the blue shirt. You wore the blue white That's your wife. <laughs> the only one that you had on, or I, no, you didn't. It, I mean, pretty much your shoes were the only other color. Yeah. Your backpack. Yeah. You had fucking blue. Yeah. I swear. I mean, shirts are blue and white. And who gets the color in your shoes, aren't they? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh man, it's so, okay. I, I just thought of I, I think what Vernon's trying to say here is that be careful what you say. You might, I mean, you can take out of it, you can think that that is what you can say, but you can't. It, I mean, just you, don't bring it up. Be careful with what you say because it can hurt. It can really hurt. That, that and also just. You don't have to agree with someone. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you have to not be with someone. You can respectfully disagree. Mm-hmm. You can respectfully disagree. If someone wants to bring up politics, I'll. I'll talk about politics, gladly. But if someone's being an asshole to me, you better believe that I'm going to bring the fucking pain. Yeah. Simple as that. So, anyway, uh, we're running out of time, yeah. and gentlemen. So, I think yeah. that'll, I don't know, do it for this uh, episode yeah. of uh, Mad so, House. Sorry about the depression that we just brought on, but <laughs> I, think you need I, think it's, I think it's important. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. anyone, any, anyway, uh, we're all signing up. Zach, you're up. Zach.
need comment. Any, any other right, points well, you want to end on? Um, one thing I'd like to end on is that we could have gone through so much more, so much more on this subject of conspiracy, but this happened. <laughs> We can keep but we can do this every time we do this. We can just keep going on. Like, uh, I want to prepare us, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, hell, something just got brought up to me on the smart and a conspiracy. <laughs> oh, shit. Shut up, let's just move. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, next time, then. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, give you a hint. It's about a letter being repeated three times. Um, six, six, six? Oh, wait, there's a letter. Anyway, uh, let's just be, be, be. Oh. Let's say it. Yeah. Um, alright, so anyway. Alright, I'm on time it off. Some of these conspiracy theories are actually quite realistic. But others. Yes, and the you all! It's mine out. Mine. Mine. <laughs> Thank you! Are you planning on making any, any videos for your channel? Like, like that kind of like thing? Uh, I'm not sure. Not uh, as far as stuff, I guess. Anyway, so that's Zach Miller because he can't play his own damn name. Uh, and this is Brennan here, our Big Damn Guy. Please check out my channel, Big Damn Guy's Reviews. I haven't posted in a fucking long time, um, but I need to, and I'm sorry that I haven't been able to, but uh, I'm going to start. Uh, Me and Brennan talked uh, a couple weeks ago about yeah. our, our <laughs> channel video, or plan on doing. Basically, I'm probably going to be doing an update here relatively soon, and. Um, I'm not both at Big Planet Star Channel. It's coming up soon. Yeah. So um, stay tuned for that. But anyway, Big Down Guys channel. Um, just pull that up. Big Down Guys here. And uh, as always, this is uh, my Uncle Tiger Three here. Uh, for my podcast, Matt House. Uh, I do. I'm, I'm starting to do more uh, videos, like I'm doing reactions. So please check all that, all my videos out, and just watch my crazy videos. So yeah. Yeah. I think that'll do it for this episode. Everyone take care uh, right. and have a lovely May the 4th and don't go fucking Captain America! Alright, thank you. Alright, see ya.